we'll play another video from Dr. Sangeeta Ray. He has two videos. Uh, one is a subretinal foreign body. Another is an broken ILM forceps. Another surgeon. Can we have the sound? On examination, there was a fake ear with redetachment under silicon oil with subretinal foreign body. Silicon oil was removed and epiretinal membrane peeling was done. Inferior retinectomy was performed after cauterization at the edges. Then a trial was made to remove the foreign body but it was not possible to avert the retina so the retinectomy was extended. The foreign body was nudged out from the subretinal space with the help of an intraocular magnet. Then the foreign body was removed from the limbus. Following which the retina was settled with PFCL and laser as done. Silicone oil injected. It started as an usual case of epiretinal membrane. This is the second After case. inducing the PVD, BBG was injected and epiretinal membrane peeling was done. It was a boggy retina. One of the prongs of the forceps was slightly bent. Then again BBG was injected for residual ILM peeling. At one point of time the forceps got stuck so with the help of the illumination pipe a trial was made to clean the forceps but then the forceps broke. Then with the help of a max grip forceps a trial was made to remove the broken part through a scleral port but then it dropped. Then again one more trial was made to remove it but it got stuck at the pass plana. On the third attempt, the broken part was removed. Air fluid exchange done and gas injected.